mean, that, that's very hard. I mean, I think when you're in crisis, as I think, you know, mm. there's a description of companies facing something like that, um, everyone is worried. Mm -hmm. And um, in terms of man management, I think a leader's signals come from the leader as to how worried should I be? Should mm -hmm. I be really worried? <laughs> or, you know, uh, is there some path you're going to lead us onto, some promised land? And then there's always the realization that not everybody's going to make it. And it, it's a hard lesson to learn when you go on and there's a sort of family-like group. Yeah. But um, you work out where you want to go, where you think the future is for this organization. You reinvent it, first of all, in here uh, and in here, because <laughs> I think mm. they have to be both. I really don't see how you can just, a leader, just go to a set of figures and say, you see, it works. You know, mm. you have to genuinely believe it because you're dealing with human beings. Then you've got to work out what it's going to take to get you from where you are now to where you are, want to be, and what skill sets are needed. Not everybody will have those skill sets. And then you go to the stage where, well, do you want to learn them? Are you excited by this? Um, what I love so much is working for companies where everyone is excited. I mean, it doesn't mean every day, but I want to see a spark in someone that this isn't just a paycheck. It might be important, it might just be fun, it might be, but something to bring you alive as a human being. And if the person doesn't have that, and when you've sort of created the vision of where you want to go, and they still don't get it or still don't want to go, mm -hmm. then you're probably going to have to part company. Mm -hmm. And it may not be them, it may be, you know, the leader, with their it's just not the right fit anymore. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you move on, and it's always painful, and if it's not, then I really don't think you're doing a your job properly. I mean, I remember mm. the first time I had to let somebody go, I was 24, 25. I'd just become a news editor, and there was this young woman, and she'd come out of university, really friendly, really bubbly. She had passion, you know, she wanted to be a journalist. At that moment, she just wasn't what I needed. She wasn't got the skill set. I remember lying awake the night before going, I, I can't do this. I mean, <laughs> you know, this poor woman, it's her first job, and, I'm, and she's, oh, it's awful. That was too much. You know, that's too much. You can't carry that on, on your shoulder mm. as a leader all the time. Right. But if you don't think of that person as a human being and honor them in that way, mm. then the relationship between the two of you, leader and you know, staff probably working with you, um, is not built on solid foundations.